Hello everyone, Plant Assassin. Today I'd like to show you Western Salsify. So this plant is not native to North America, but it was introduced as a, a garden uh, crop, garden plant. And there's three species that are found in Idaho. And the way you tell them apart, one of them's purple, so that one's really simple, but there are two that are yellow. And the western salsify has these green um, stems right here that open up from the flower that go beyond the flower petals. So the other species is yellow, but it has a these little green protectors here, they don't extend beyond the flower. So when you find a specimen like this, that's how you know you have western salsify. So now before the uh, flowers open up, they have little flower pods on them like this and after they close they look like this <clears throat> and uh, this will puff up like a dandelion big dandelion head so one thing to note about salsify is that it has a latex so when you pick it see that it oozes and at first it's white and then it'll turn brown after it's been exposed to the air for a little bit so actually right here we have a flower head that's probably going to open up tomorrow morning So the flowers are open in the morning, and around noon they close. And after they close, they go back to a pod for a few days, and then they form this dandelion-looking um, seed head. So each one of these, you can pluck off these little umbrellas here. These will float around, so if you're looking for the seed, the seed's actually down here at the bottom. So you can just break that off. Now if you notice the scientific name essentially is uh, dubious for the species, the reason it's called that is because it looks a lot like a grass and so it can be difficult to identify so here we have a, a specimen that hasn't flowered yet so this one will probably flower next year Wait, it looks like grass but you can kind of tell that maybe it's not so if we pluck one of these leaves here and get this to focus See, we got the uh, latex here. So this is how we know we have the salsa feed, because grass, as far as I know, there's no grasses that will produce a latex like this. So, so this is a salsa feed specimen. Now, of course, it has no flowers on it, so who knows exactly what it is. So with the Western salsify, the edible portion, or at least the portion most people eat, is the root. And that's where it gets its name with the like oyster plant. Um, the roots are supposed to taste a bit like oysters. So 
I have some of these um, growing over on the other side of the yard. Um, usually you would harvest these in the fall after their first year growing. So there'll be a follow-up video where we um, go about harvesting them and then how you would cook them. So because they do kind of need to be cooked. Anyway, Western Salsify, if you found this video informative, please like and subscribe.